Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is about uh, of the using of the EE prom of the PIC microcontroller. In the previous two videos, we have explained the basics of the using of the EE prom of the microcontroller. EE prom is abbreviation of elliptical erasable programmable read only memory, in which we learned uh, the configuration of the microcontroller. 16 f 616 mm, and cluster of frequency we have learned uh, we have discussed explained the initialization of the variables and the initialization of the uh, por ports of the microcontroller mm, in the previous video we have explained how to store uh, a number which is less than 256 and the storing of the character and the ee prom of the microcontroller for any password or uh, EEPROM can be used for uh, storing uh, different words or numbers for um, password as well as for other purposes. In this video, we have to learn how to store a value, a number which is larger than 255, like 256. Because uh, the EEPROM of the microcontroller here the ee prom memory of the microcontroller has 128 bytes of range and each each cell has uh, its own address like this as it is 00 this one is 0 1 0 2 0 and each cell we can store only a maximum value of ff ff the hexadecimal uh, format which is equal to 255 so FF is 255 number. If the number exceeds 225, then this memory will overflow and it will start storing from 0. For example, 200, 256 will be equal to 0 and 257 will be equal to 1. So let's get started. Let's store the number. Let the memory address 10. Here we have to write 256 in a parameter address 9, it address 9, x will be 256. So let's finish debugging and rebuild the program. Here, here we have set the breakpoints so that the program counter should stop here. It will take some time. Now here you can see, so let's step into Here is a while row, the PC will be stay here until it uh, write the, uh, 200, uh, the uh, 256 at the memory address of 9 So move forward Now let's again check the memory location. Here we can see 00, zero has been stored. Now let's write 257. Debug the program. Now step into. Again, check the memory. Here you can see its memory location and one has been stored. We uh, assign the value to 257, but in the memory location, there is one has been stored. Why it is happen so? Because this memory overflows, it can store only 255. If the number exceeds 200, 255, then it will again start from 0. 256 will be equal to 0, 257 will be equal to 1, and 258 will be equal to 2 this way. So we have to solve this problem. What we should do? For this purpose, we have to combine two memory locations, two cells, to store the numbers. We have to combine only two cells to store any large numbers. So let's write C codes for uh, storing the very large number and the memory cells. Each memory cell is 8-8 eight, eight bit data. 
one word one uh, one byte can be stored which is equal to eight bits then eight bit and plus eight bit it because it will it will become equal to 16 bit and the 16 bit uh, we can uh, store a word of about 65536 so a large number can be large integer can be stored by just combining in two cells Here is the x is 257, x is the unsigned character. So first we have to shift for storing the large number, we have to shift unsigned character and to unsigned integers. Yes, uh, first uh, let it so no, no problem. Mm, let uh, we have to write, see, so we have to make a copy of it in this way. One will be middle equation, for example, one. Other will be middle equation of two. First, if the value is smaller than 255, it will store in this middle equation one. And if it's greater than 256, 55, it will store in this. For this, we have to then we have to write left shift about. Uh, Eight digits. So let's change because x is an unsigned character. Whose maximum value is you can copy only 255 value. So let's change this unsigned character into unsigned, unsigned integer. And now let's finish the topicing and re, uh, rebuild the program. Now move forward. This way. Now check the memory. In the memory, you can see here is one. There is also one. What it means? It means in the first eight digit, there is only one. And the second eight digit there is not one because there is 256 in 256 plus one which we call 250 200 it indicates that 256 plus one it will equal 220 so because if, if there was zero zero which, uh, which means 256 is there so there will be 257 because 256 Plus one. Now let's try for other videos. Now let's write 258. For 258, again a value of 258 has been assigned to the unsigned integer. Move forward. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, first, a uh, low significant a uh, digit will be stored in X. The most significant 8 bit will be stored in the 2 location 2. So, um, PC, has reached, PC has been reached here. Now, again, check the memory location. Here you can see 2 memory location, there is 2, and memory location 2, there is 1. 1 indicates that there are 256. 256 plus 2 7 8 there will be 258 and this way we can store about 65536 so now let's uh, read the memory by the C codes how to read memory for this we have to initiate two more variables in this way two more integers which will be the local variables for example on send integer so let's initiate two variables uh, one on send integer there will be the local variables ls low significant bits and other will be most significant bits 
we have to initialize with zero. After that, we have to write ls those significant will be equal to the memory location of one. You have to copy this one. Copy and here we have to paste memory location one and other will be most significant bit will be of the EPROM read location to for this we have to write y is equal to low significant bit plus most significant bit has been shifted to the uh, left eight digit and order to obtain the make the whole number on the two memory locations this way this will be the formula so now let's check the conditions if y is equal to 250 then this statement will be executed and if y is equal to 258 then this uh, still command statement will be executed by the pc otherwise the list condition will be so now let's check the uh, rebuild the program so now, now let's check the codes in this way 158 will has been assigned to the value of x then low significant will be stored at memory location 1 and most significant will be stored at memory location 2 then we have to go on the while loop we give some delay after that We have, to initialize, we have to initiate two variables, local variables, ls, ms. Then we have to assign low significant the memory value of the memory, read the memory location one, and value has been assigned to the ls. And again, we have to read the memory location two, and value has been assigned to the ms, most significant bit, which is the reading of the memory location two. Then, I have to make the number uh, ls, we have to shift uh, multiply the most significant bit by a, a to, to, to the raised power 8 which is equal to the uh, equal to the multiple by multiplying 256 uh, we have to uh, left shift the value of the ms then we have to add with the low significant bit we get a number y and we have to check this value, value of the y As the value of y is not equal to 256, it jumped over this command and it will now it will check this condition. If it is true, it will execute this one. Right, it means the value of y is 258. And we have successfully uh, stored the value of 258 and achieve again. So let's uh, try for the very large number. For example, as large as Mm, for example, 25,000. We have stored with, uh, because we have the capacity of storing about 665,000. So now let's try for this code. And here we have to write the conditions 25,000 and 25,800. So now let's check this large value of 25,000 which has been to be stored in the two memory cells. In this way, value of 25,000 has been assigned to the variable x. So now let's check the memory location. It location A, there is a 8 and memory location to their 61 which are the exact decimal number has been 25,000 has been stored in this only two memory locations then we have to read the numbers for this we have uh, we have initiated two variables as the previous uh, example now it will read that memory location 1 and 2 has been read by the PC which will has been assigned to the variable y 
So if this condition is right, what happens? Now it is right because the value of y is 5000. Is it equals to 25,800? No, it is not this one. This way, this will again and again move. It means the value of y is about 25,000. So this is about the uh, storing of the very very large number and only two memory layer cells to by just applying a simple formula. So thank you for watching our video. For any uh, questions you can write in the comments.